Hello YouTube, this is Blake from Techno-Buzz.com and the TechnoBuzz YouTube channel and in today's TechnoBuzz How To I'll be showing you how to enable Flash from Windows RT on any website that you would like. It also works in Windows 8's Metro Browser if you need to use it for that as well. Alright, let's begin. Now to start off, I'm just going to bring up uh, Internet Explorer here, the Metro version, and I'm going to navigate to a site that uses Flash that isn't on Microsoft's approved browser list. As you can see here, uh, you know you can't access the Flash player, and that will be the same area you'll see on Windows RT. Now to make this change, it's very simple. You're going to open up Internet Explorer or um, uh, Windows Explorer, and you're going to type in the following. Okay, I'll also put this down in the description. Once you've gotten to this uh, this exact place, you'll notice this file here. It's an XML document. This is very simple. Right-click on this guy, go, um, pardon me, open with, and then choose uh, Notepad. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is a very big file, so I recommend you get Control F for Find, and then type the following in, and then hit Enter. So you'll fl you'll find the header that's just Flash. Now under that you'll see here domain, then some information in there. Scroll down until you find just a generic domain name. So here domain01net.com. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to copy this entire line from the end to end. Copy it. Go down a line and paste it back in. But now you're going to want to input whatever site you'd like that isn't working with the Flash Player. So let's uh, take... Um, I'm going to open up, this is the website of the site we were just on that wasn't working with Flash Player. And, enter it in, pardon me. Okay. Copy, paste. There. So now I've entered it in to this file. Alright? So we have it in the file, and you can do that with any website you want. So anything that's not working, just put the URL into this box or into this file and then you're gonna save it but don't save it just quite yet if this is your first time editing the file there is a little bit of a step you need to do first first thing is open up Internet Explorer you're gonna hit alt on your keyboard and you're gonna see this bar click on tools and then compatibility view settings see where it says download updated compatibility list from Microsoft uncheck that box and click close then close out of Internet Explorer and also make sure you have the Metro version of Internet Explorer closed as well. Once you've done that and you've finished editing your notepad, just go File, Save. Now there's one other step that you need to do and that is going to be open up Control Panel and delete your browsing history and cookies. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to go open up Control Panel and from here I'm going to go to Network and Internet, Delete Browsing History and Cookies, and then Delete. Now make sure you have everything checked and uncheck the top one. This will just make sure we get rid of absolutely everything that could be getting in our way. Deleting add-ons. There we go. Now let's head back to uh, let's head back to the Metro version of Internet Explorer and see if that site will load up using Flash. And as you can see, the Flash player is loading for this website here and is now functioning correctly. Alright guys, well that has been a quick how-to video on how to enable Flash in Windows RT and Windows 8. This is a really helpful tip as it lets you get around the restrictions placed on Flash. Uh, now just a little bit of troubleshooting information if you do run into any problems. First of all, make sure you've closed both Internet Explorers, the one in Metro and the one on your desktop, and deleted the browsing history and cookies and everything else that's there. As well, if you're having a problem, and I notice this is because this is a, um, you know, this is a controlling file. A lot of people will think, well, why don't I put a tab here? This is not, this is not a tab. This is a large amount of spaces. So ensure that you did not tab over to this location. You actually have to hit space until you get line up with the rest of them. Um, other than that, if you're running into problems, make sure that the Flash applet on that site is not running in a little window. So, for example, um, if you're going to cite XXYZ as an example, 
and they're taking their flash content from YouTube um, now YouTube will work but this is just an example you actually need to input where the flash content is coming from domain into this list so in this case you'd have to put YouTube into this list now obviously it's already gonna be there and uh, yeah so there's no way of doing it to just make every single website work but at least this way you can add in your custom domains and ensure that uh, you can get on flash if it's not working for you straight out of the box with Windows RT anyways guys this has been Blake from techno-buzz.com I thank you very much for tuning in to this how-to video and we will see you in the next video. Have you visited our website at techno-buzz.com? Well if you haven't, it's a great place to get all the latest in technology and gaming. And while you're there, make sure to visit our forum at forum.techno-buzz.com. There you can discuss gaming, technology, and even have discussions with our content creators. Have an idea for a future show? Make sure to let our creators know by visiting us in the forums at forum.techno-buzz.com.